Good afternoon. This is Mr. Bale Jeffrey from Oguro Sari High School Mathematics Department. In, pre in our previous topic, we talked about uh, rotation. And we did say that uh, for a rotation to, to be completely done, then the angle of rotation and the center of rotation must be uh, stated. Today, we want to talk about uh, similarity and enlargement. In the similarity and enlargement, uh, majorly we are going to look at uh, enlargement as a transformation. The same as similar figures. Two figures are said to be similar if there is a general condition that is met. If there is a general condition that is met for two figures to be similar, then we are going to see how these figures are going to be similar. So the question is, what is the conditions that warrant the the two figures or three to be similar. Let us look at some of the conditions that we have uh, when two figures are similar. When two figures are similar, it can be two or more figures are similar, then one, the ratio of the corresponding sides is a constant. The ratio of their corresponding sides is a constant. Two, the corresponding angles are equal. Two, the corresponding angles are equal. Similar figures have the same shape irrespective of the size. So, there are two major uh, rules that you must use to identify the figures that are similar. And we have said the, the ratio of corresponding sides is a constant. Two, the corresponding angles are equal. Then, just as we have said, they must be in the same shape, irrespective of the size. Let us look at another example. The example in the figure 7.2 is uh, two triangles. There are two triangles with uh, the sides. The figure below shows triangles P, Q, R, and X, Y, uh, W, X, Y are similar. Calculate the length of P, R, P, R, that is level uh, x and x y and x y that is level y centimeters. When you look at p q, p q corresponds to w x. Each of them is opposite angles. Each of them is an opposite angle. B, opposite angle B. Q corresponds to XY, Q corresponds to XY, and PR corresponds to uh, WY. Therefore, when we take the ratio of corresponding sides, PQ over WX is equals to QR over x y which is equals to p r over w y p q is 18 centimeters w uh, w x is 8 centimeters then we can go, then we also say that q r q r is 24 centimeters then uh, x, y is the y, the value y we wanted, which is equals to x, which is pr, pr is x, and uh, over 5. So we'll say that 18 
over 6 is equals to 24 over y. 18 over 6 is equals to 24 over y. Therefore, 18y is equals to 24 times 6. So y is equals to 24 times 6 over 18. Therefore, y is equals to 8. So the line xy is therefore is equals to 8 centimeters. Also, when we want to get the value of x, we have 18 over 6 is equals to x over 5. 6x is equals to 18 times 5. Therefore, x is equals to 18 times 5 over 6. x is equals to 15. Therefore, the side PR is equals to 15 centimeters. So we have used that by comparing the corresponding uh, sides corresponding sides. So from there we can be able to get the value of the missing uh, sides of that particular triangle of that particular triangle. Let us look at uh, another example. Another example. Uh, the course, note that the corresponding sides of the triangle are those opposite to equal angles. The corresponding sides of triangles are those opposite to equal angles. Let's look at example two. Example two will have two rectangles A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H whose measurements are shown Determine whether or not they are similar. We had said that to determine whether they are similar, we must look at the ratio of the corresponding sides. The angles are equal. The angles are equal because each of the rectangle has an angle of 90 degrees. So therefore, by just having a look, you can easily say, that the two are similar. But when we actually now work it out, we, may, we want to see what happens when we look at the ratio of the corresponding sides. When we look at them, we can make into a rational uh, judgment that the two rectangles are similar. But let us look at the measurement. Let us look at the side there, the side F, FE. Uh, the, 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 the ratio of the corresponding sides, that is the side AD. Let's look at AD. Then we also look at EF. EF, AD over EF is AD over EF is 5 over 9. Because AD is 5, EF is E. EH, EH, EH is 9. It is EH that is 9. EH is equal to FG. So whenever we have FG is the same as EF. So e, e H is 9 centimeters. So when we look at those corresponding sides, so which means side AD corresponds to EH. So when you look at the, the ratio, is 5 over 9. AD to EH is equals to 5 over 9. DC to H, uh, DC to H, HG, DC to HG. When you look at DC to HG, DC is 2 centimeters, HG is 4 centimeters. Therefore, the ratio of the corresponding side is a half. Remember, we have said that for them to be similar, then the ratio of the corresponding sides must be 
the same. Uh, so which means the ratio of the corresponding sides of these two triangles are not the same. Therefore, the two triangles are not similar simply because the ratio of their corresponding sides are not uh, equal or are not the same. So in general, you can say that for two triangles to be similar, one, the ratio of their corresponding sides must be the same. Must be the same. So when you look at that similarity, then we will realize that uh, that that angles and the sides must be equal and that is now going to take us to enlargement. Otherwise, thank you uh, as we stop for that session.